Recommendations for Sleeving a Gilt or Sow In this video, we will discuss the steps to conduct a vaginal examination or to sleeve a gilt or sow. So why do we need to sleeve sows? Well, there's something called dystocia, which means difficult farrowing. This can occur in both sows and gilts and can lead to an increase in stillborns as well as infection. Here's some signs of a distressed female during pre-farrow and farrowing. Bloodshot eyes or straining, temperature greater than 103 degrees Fahrenheit, discharge, and lameness or weakness in the hind area. Did you know piglets are born about 50% head first and about 50% hind legs first? Here are two pictures with some examples. Here are two examples of a piglet coming out hind in first and the other one coming out head first. So to get started, first we need to gather our supplies. That will include paper towels or just a towel, clean obstetrical sleeves, obstetrical lube, and oxytocin per your herd veterinarian's protocol. Important. If you are an employee with large forearms, you may want to ask someone to assist you. Be careful not to tear the vulva. So let's get started. First, we want to make sure the vulva is wiped clean. If the sow is lying on her left side, put the sleeve on your left arm. If she is lying on her right side, put the sleeve on your right arm. Make sure to place a generous amount of obstetrical lube onto your hand. The entire sleeve can be lubricated by inverting the sleeve with the lube over the hand to avoid distribution of the lube with the dirty hand. In the following slide, you will see an example. Here is the example of distributing the lube over the entire sleeve. It's very important to keep sleeves and lube clean. If they get discolored or dusty, throw them out and replenish them immediately. Once the sleeve is properly lubricated, gently reach into the vagina by cupping your fingers in a cone shape into the birth canal to feel if any piglets are stuck or to determine if there are more piglets left to farrow. Insertion should be gentle and slow through the pelvis to avoid damage. The sow may stand up while sleeving. This can help to reposition the piglet. If the piglet is coming out feet first, you grasp the piglet's legs with your fingers and grab above the knees or hocks and gently pull the piglet towards you through the birth canal. If the piglet is coming out head first, grasp the piglet's head with your index finger and middle finger behind the piglet's ear and gently pull the piglet towards you through the birth canal. Break the umbilical cord by pulling the cord gently away from the sow and try to leave it at least three inches long. Clean the membranes off the nose and the mouth so that the piglet can breathe easily. Then check the birth canal again immediately after pulling the piglet 
so that to assure the birth canal is clear. If there is no progress after two attempts of assistance, 20 minutes apart, consider letting the sow out of the stall to walk around the farrowing room. Important. If piglets cannot be felt in the birth canal and the gilt or sow continues to be in discomfort, it is advised to alert your farrowing manager. Follow the farm's protocol for the use of oxytocin. Once you have sleeved the gilt or sow and determined there are no piglets blocking the birth canal, oxytocin may be used if necessary. Oxytocin should not be used with a gilt or sow that has not had at least one piglet. The overuse, dose, and or frequency of oxytocin can be detrimental. As a follow-up, Continue monitoring farrowing females throughout the day and take the necessary steps to help ensure successful deliveries. Video Disclaimer These are general recommendations and we encourage the production staff to follow their farm protocols. Farms should have procedures created and approved by their production management head.